Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 28th May 2017. I am Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. However, if you want to know more about myself, about the company Superior Profit, or more importantly, how Superior Profit can help you in your trading, then you may visit our website and click on the contact menu on the home page. Before we begin, let us go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. We will go through several commodities, including oil and gold, India Nifty Future, and few Forex pairs. We will look at them through Q technical analysis. After that, we will look at SPY QQQ DIA also through Q technical analysis before going into broad market internals, sector and industry analysis through graphs, ranking and charts. We will look at some of the community posts that were shared since our last class in trade ideas, quiz playground, graduates club, etc and we will look for potential trades for the upcoming week. Q&A is throughout the session. You may ask questions through the Q&A panel and I will try to answer them as I go along. This was the last slide of the class. Let us move to live system now. Let's begin with oil, USO, the oil ETF. In last week's class, we had observed that oil had a false downside breakout last week. It also displayed a bullish headwind. And an alert trader using that symbol could have caught the bottom of US oil. In the subsequent week, the current week also, US oil went up. If somebody didn't enter at the low using the false downside breakout along the watermark support levels, it was not easy to enter later on. Somebody might have taken a trade by looking at the bullish shaped candle on this day. However, this is not a standard Q trade setup. If we are alert, we can catch top, like in this case, where we could catch the top using the bounce down from memory resistance line. Also here, we could catch the bottom using a false downside breakout. But if it is a wild move where it goes straight from lower boundary lines to upper boundary line, or it goes straight from upper boundary to lower boundary line, then it is difficult to catch the thread while it is moving between the boundary lines. In this case, if we could catch the bottom or the top, then we had very profitable trades. Otherwise, we might have missed the chance to profit from recent moves of USR. At the right edge of the chart, US oil is bullish it had a gap up day on Friday and it closed near the high of the day. There is no standard trade signal at the right edge of the chart. 
because the weekly candle color backdrop color is bullish and also the shape is bullish we do not anticipate a go with flow short trade even if us oil tilts down on monday the next tilting down is probably going to happen somewhere near the memory resistance line and if that happens it may give rise to a bounce short trade setup in us oil let's look at gold gld the gold etf we discussed in last session that some of us could catch the very bottom of gold at this point by looking at the memory support line here there was no very high or extreme activity so it was not a standard bounce trade setup however we have seen many times that if we are aware of the memory lines then we are able to take a very low risk trade at the very bottom when price touches or almost touches the memory line and goes up from there we saw several examples of such bounce from memory or from watermark in our last session the recording is available in the youtube channel at the right edge of the chart gold traffic light color is bullish it is going up from the lower boundary currently it is near value area in the weekly chart the backdrop candle color is neutral the candle shape is bullish we don't anticipate any short trade in gold in coming days unless the backdrop candle color also turns magenta which seems unlikely in next few days so like us oil the next trade opportunity may come if gold comes up to the memory resistance line and bounces down from here like in us oil if we could catch the bottom of gold using the memory support bounce on the top of gold using the headwind signal then we could have very profitable trade as gld came down from upper boundary to lower boundary and then went up from lower boundary to beyond value area if we couldn't catch the top or the bottom then it was difficult to enter the trade in the middle because there was no opportunity to enter with lower risk and in superior profit way we stay away from trades where the risk or the stop loss is relatively high let us now look at india nifty market we had discussed in the last class that our next possible trade opportunity will come if price bounces down from the upper boundary lines price was already too close to the upper boundary for us to take a long trade so we had two possible scenarios either price could tilt down from the upper boundary line with a proper q trade setup or it could come to value area and tilt up from there none of that has happened there was a bear release signal on thursday however the memory line was very close and if you remember the bear release signal is to be used for a short trade only in sideways market it is not to be taken for a short trade in a trending market as is in nifty currently so we would not be having any trade right now at the right edge of the chart the candle traffic light color in daily chart is bearish red however the candle shape is indecisive with upper and lower tail in the weekly chart price is beyond upper boundary over extended as we can see from the stretch signals at the top of the candles last week's candle is indecisive 
opening and closing almost at the same price with the higher tail slightly larger than the lower tail. Let's look at some of the forex symbols. Let's start with Sing dollar. We have been able to correctly analyze all the forex pairs just as we could analyze the stocks. Earlier we had discussed that price was near the white very slow direction line. It was moving in narrow ranges sideways and those are exit points for superior profit traders not entry points so we would not be taking any trade in this area instead we had discussed that we will wait for price either to go up or down and give a proper trade setup which happened when price went to upper boundary and gave a bear release signal on the same day it also created a false upside breakout price reversing from the high watermark level which was created by an earlier bear release signal so on this day with yellow candle we had a sideways market with a box short trade setup in forex instruments we don't expect to have very or extreme high activity so we can take a box trade short setup ignoring activity on this day and that turned out to be another extremely profitable forex trade this was a forex swing short trade and the ella traders could have used the false downside breakout to enter a short right at the point when price was coming down from the watermark resistance level and he could have taken a profitable day trade also on that day let us look at Aussie dollar Aussie dollar had been in a downtrend and every time it came to value area or near the memory resistance level it tilted down and those gave rise to profitable at least day trade opportunities some of the down moves from the value area were very large and by the end of the day our potential profit was narrow compared to the potential risk that is distance from stop loss therefore we would not be shorting it as a swing trade at the end of such bearish candle However, again, an alert trader, forex traders are usually alert because forex trades 24 hours. An alert forex trader could have kept in mind the downtrend of Aussie dollar and kept on shorting it when it started bouncing down from the yellow slow direction line from the memory lines and from the value area. At the right edge of the chart, price is right at the memory resistance line. Traffic light candle color is bullish cyan. Uh, however, because it is in downtrend, we are not going to take any long trade on the bullish traffic light color. The next potential trade may come if price bounces down from the memory resistance line or from these direction lines, yellow and white as it has done several times in the past if it breaks out of the memory resistance lines we are not going to take a trade at that point because the stop loss will be far away instead we will wait for price to come down and then tilt up giving us a low risk go with flow long opportunity at this point let us now move to US market. We will look at the three ETFs, SPY, QQQ, and DIA. On the left hand side, in the weekly backdrop template, SPY ended with a mixed signal candle. It has a lower tail, so the shape is bullish, but the backdrop candle color is magenta, that is bearish. It tried to go back to the watermark 
resistance level but couldn't close above that it tilted down that actually gave rise to a very profitable false upside breakout trade that could be taken by an alert trader looking at the daily chart on this day in the daily chart with the yellow candle price tried to go above the watermark resistance level that was created by a bearish headwind long time ago in march and then reverse down from there giving rise to a very low risk intraday short entry opportunity in spy on that day itself as price closed in the middle but it had gone down to a lower point during the day part of the position could be closed with profit and the remaining position could be held either spy short or maybe buying a put option with part of the profit and holding it overnight that would give rise to a very profitable overall trade as spy fell down significantly as price came to the yellow slow direction line part of that put profit could also be booked and then the remaining position could be held at the right end of the chart at the right end the traffic light candle color is bullish but it ended with an upper tail so the shape is mixed it is hollow but with upper tail so the shape is mixed there is no clear signal in the spy chart if price tilts down from here and gives rise to a magenta candle in daily it will give us a proper go with flow short setup because weekly has already turned magenta and we might look for a low risk trend following short trade at that point let's look at dia in dow jones the weekly chart is similarly mixed it has a backdrop color of magenta that is bearish but it has a tail longer lower tail which is somewhat bullish so the signal is mixed low of last week hit the exact memory support line in the weekly chart price couldn't go above the bearish headwind created in dia several weeks earlier in the daily chart price went above the memory resistance line and tilted down from there on this green candle giving rise to a very profitable short opportunity using false upside breakout again this was not a standard q trade setup but an alert daily trader could use the bounce down from memory resistance to take a very profitable short swing or day trade at the right edge of the chart the traffic light candle color is neutral yellow it is very close to the memory support line so we will not be looking for any short trade right now one possibility is that dia goes up to the memory resistance or the watermark resistance line and then tilts down from there giving us a possible short opportunity from there or it has to first break down below the memory support line till back up and go down again giving us a low risk go with flow short short opportunity on monday or tuesday if dia goes below the memory support line it may give us a magenta traffic light candle color bearish color however we will not be taking a go with flow short trade at that point because price will already be very close to the lower boundary line qqq had been the strongest of the three for long time 
and in this way we see that qqq has created a bearish headwind signal both in weekly as well as in daily there was a very big down day in qqq and on that day after a very long time qqq dropped by a much larger percentage relative to SPY and DIA. Price is near the value area. On Friday, it ended with a bearish shape candle. Traffic light candle color is yellow, neutral. If price tilts down from here with a magenta candle, it may give us a go with flow short trade opportunity. At the right edge of the chart, right now, there is no trade setup in QQQ. Let us go back to the Metastock platform and look at the Australia index, AXJO. AXJO in the weekly chart had gone sideways for several weeks at this place. On this week, it created a bearish shape candle as well as a bear release signal and the backdrop candle color turned from cyan to magenta in that week. It created a false upside breakout as price tried to go above this watermark resistance level and go down. Keeping that in mind, one might try to take a short trade somewhere inside this bar. And the exact entry point will be decided using the daily chart. We see that on this day, there was a bearish headwind signal. Price went down from the watermark resistance level, giving us a false upside breakout. Traffic light had changed from green to red, that is flipped from green to red without going through yellow that was a very low risk short trade opportunity using false upside breakout and using the bearish headwind signal and there was a bear release signal as well on this day as i can see that the stretch signals had appeared on previous day candles so this was a very good short opportunity in the australian index because multiple bearish signals coincided together. Afterwards, price came back to the watermark resistance level created by the bearish headwind, tried to go up and again created a very narrow false upside breakout. Traffic light candle color turned from green to magenta in one day. Price was at pendulum high indicated by the thumbs down signal. So using this information, an alert trader could again enter a very low risk entry. That also turned out to be a profitable trade. One would book at least partial profit when price came to the yellow ascending slow direction line. After that, we had a potential go with flow short opportunity on two days, these two candles price was still at pendulum high as indicated by the thumbs down signals for the short on the first magenta candle stop would be above the recent high and the profit target will be the lower boundary entry point will be at the close of the candle giving us a reward that was higher than the risk and that trade would be taken and we will close that with profit on thursday for the next traffic light magenta color candle, if we waited until price came to the close of the day, then our entry price will be at this level. Our potential reward will be till the lower boundary and stop might be above this high or at least above this yellow candle. In either case, the stop loss will be larger than the potential profit so we would not like to enter a swing short trade at the close of this candle because we are alert trader we would have already taken short go with flow on this day 
or a box shot on this day or a headwind shot on this day. At the right edge of the chart, price is at lower boundary. It has lower tail on two successive days candle. It is oversold or overstretch. So we will not be looking for any short opportunity at this point. There is no support level from which it may be bouncing up. So we will also not be looking for any sideways box long trade setup, even if on Monday there is a bull release signal. Our next potential trade could be if price comes to the value area and tilts down from there, giving us another magenta color candle and therefore a go with flow short opportunity at that point. Or price could come all the way up to the memory resistance line till down from there, giving us a bounce short trade opportunity. Let us now look at broad market industry and sector analysis using graphs. Here we are looking at NASDAQ composite index on the left hand side and NYSE composite index on the right hand side, both using weekly chart. As we observed in QQQ, NASDAQ also displayed a bearish headwind in the weekly chart. The candle shape is indecisive. The traffic light color is neutral, that is yellow. Price came to the memory support line and bounced up from there on this candle. In the NYSC composite index, the last week's candle ended indecisive with both upper tail and lower tail price closing almost at the same level as the opening price. Since the bearish headwind appeared in the NYAC price is not able to go up and now a bearish headwind has appeared in NASDAQ. We will see if price tries to go down from here for the overall market. The internals continue to be weak, never able to go above the highs made in previous weeks. In this week, all the six internals went up and closed above zero as is indicated by the cyan color reading. How far we notice that new high low for both NYSE and NASDAQ that were keeping the market stronger that somewhat tilted down from peak to peak. Probably the stocks that were making new highs and thereby pulling the whole market up, at least in terms of ETF, lost some steam. And if that continues, then the market may go down from here. However, in superior profit way, we don't try to predict where the market is going to go. Instead, we look at all the colors and the indicators in Q charts objectively and decide what is happening right now and take trades based on that. If we use that approach, then we have to conclude that in terms of weekly chart, NYAC is moving somewhat sideways now since March, whereas NASDAQ is continuing to move quite strongly upward. This is weekly chart broad market analysis and is to be used only for longer term investment and not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading. In terms of sector analysis, we look at 10 broad market sectors across three review periods red bar indicating last five days, blue bar five days prior to that, and green bar 10 days prior to blue bar, giving us an analysis across 20 days or about one month period. Most sectors declined in this week, except the defensive sectors utility. 
and non cyclical consumer goods and services also energy which was going up since last week as we saw also in us oil continued its up move but in more muted fashion in this week technology was leading the market but this week it turned down this weakness is also visible in the sector table that we'll look at later in terms of the best performing 10 industries of this week we see three rates are among the top performers hotel and lodging rate diversified rate and specialty rate in these industries we are going to look for only long trades and not short trades thereby aligning the technical analysis with broad market sector and industry trend we see two energy related industries are appearing in this list oil equipment and services and oil equipment services and distribution oil has gone up somewhat however oil equipment and services industries are still languishing later on we will see that there may be some very low risk possibly swing trade as well as longer term investment opportunities in these industry groups eating drinking and smoking seems to be winners distillers are going up so are tobacco companies bars and restaurants we may look for long opportunities in these industry groups in terms of the worst performing industries previous week electronic office equipment was top ranking with rank one however this week it dropped however on a monthly basis it is still the second ranking industries so this kind of scenarios where it was very poorly ranking for many many months and then it strengthened it became rank one it became rank one in weekly time frame and then it declined again it may give us an opportunity to buy the dips so we may look at the charts of pbi that we discussed in earlier sessions to see if there is possible long opportunity in this or its peer groups drug retailers dropped they dropped quite heavily and there were very profitable opportunities in stocks in this industry wba go with flow short or cvs bounce short and we will look at charts of these two stocks also to see how q charts could allow us to catch very profitable swing trade opportunities sometimes at the very top or sometimes at the middle but in both cases quite profitable trade opportunities so we will remember these three stocks tbi cvs and wba okay let us look at pbi wba and cvs now pbi is pitney bowes the electronic office equipment company we had noticed that the industry was strengthening and an alert trader could have looked at the bullish headwind signal in the weekly chart which also created a false downside breakout and take a very low risk long opportunity in this trade and make significant profit as price moved up from the pendulum low both in the weekly chart and the daily chart we can see that on this day there was an earnings day therefore if someone entered the long trade using the false downside breakout at this point then they will certainly book some profit before the earnings day and either hold some position in the stock or sometimes more preferably book the whole position in stock use some of the profit to take a call position and thereby make sure there is profit and also 
write the upward move that happened later. At the right edge of the chart, we see that price went up strongly after earnings, then came down. Now it is near value area. It had a bull release signal on Friday, but the traffic light candle color is still red. The candle shape is indecisive. Next week, if it goes up from here and gives us a cyan bullish traffic light candle, it will give a proper go with flow long setup. In weekly, we already have backdrop color cyan, so it will remain cyan if daily chart gives us a cyan candle. We may look for a low risk, long entry swing opportunity at that point. Let's look at WBA, that's the drugs retailer. Here we see that price tried to come multiple times, one, two, three times at the watermark resistance level and every time tilted down from there. Using this information, the watermark resistance lines, which has zero lag, we could take very low risk box short trade setups at these points in the daily chart. The last opportunity came around this time when price came to the watermark level and tilted down from there. It ended up being a very profitable short trade opportunity. We see also that though the market was moving sideways, we could have multiple short. Also, we could have potential long opportunity when this bullish headwind signal appeared in WBA. So we could profit from both long trade as well as short trade as price was moving between the watermark high and the watermark low levels. Let's look at CVS. In CVS, looking long back, we can see there was a false upside breakout on this candle that gave rise to a very profitable top catching false downside breakout trade in the daily chart recently there was a false upside breakout when price tried to go up above the watermark resistance level multiple of them and then closed below that so an alert trader again using real-time chart could enter a very profitable short trade. It could be also entered at the end of this day and profit could be booked as the yellow slow direction line was hit. Next profitable trade opportunity came on this magenta candle. That was a go with flow short opportunity and that also hit profit target in couple of days. At the right edge of the chart, price is overextended to the downside. So we will not take any short opportunity in CVS. And because it is in downtrend, we will not take any long opportunity unless price steals back up from here with a bull release signal, thereby giving us a box long trade setup. We already have very high activity on this day showing potential exhaustion. So if price tilts up from there with a neutral color candle, at least neutral or green color candle with a bull release signal, it may actually give us a box long trade setup. Let's go back to our industry analysis. For industries with biggest rank improvements, we see that hotel lodging rate retail rate and mortgage rate came in this list. We also saw several rates coming among the best percentage improving industries. So we may look for only long opportunities in these industry groups. Metal and mining industries improved rank. Industrial metal mining, iron and steel, as well as non-ferrous metals. We have seen that these industries were at the very bottom of ranking around 160 for many months now. And if they tilt up from here, they may give us 
very profitable swing as well as possibly long term investment opportunities on the long side to insurance companies also increase their rank in terms of the industries with biggest rank decline we saw some interesting information a whooping eight of the 10 biggest decliners were among the top ranking industries in the one month period in previous weeks analysis this correlates to what we saw in the broad market internal analysis probably the top ranking industries and stocks in them that were moving the stock market higher didn't continue to move up so much this week that is clear in technology stocks like computer hardware technology hardware equipment and technology also there are many other industry groups which were ranking strongly earlier decline by most in this way some of them were at very low point at pendulum low like fast solar in renewable energy equipment or pbi that we saw just now in electronic office equipment this could give rise to buying the dips opportunity some others were at pendulum high like gambling stocks lvs mgm computer hardware hpq or technology stocks like nelly and netflix which could give rise to very profitable short opportunity at or very near the top so let us look at all these stocks now fast solar pbi we have already seen so we look at fast solar LVS, MGM, HPQ, mainly in Netflix. This will illustrate again how we can use the insight from the broad market sector industry and combine it with technical charts to take trades, which has more edges in our favor. Let's start with fast solar. This industry group, renewable energy equipment, was languishing for many, many, many months then it gave a false downside breakout in the weekly chart the backdrop candle color turned bullish and we could take a very profitable long trade at that time using the daily chart probably soon after this bullish headwind signal appeared after that price went up sharply this was the earnings day so if we could catch the bottom or near the bottom, then we would certainly book at least partial profit before earnings. Again, probably holding some position using call options instead of stock and try to profit from the subsequent up move. At the right edge of the chart, price is still near upper boundary and it is just below the declining very slow direction line. So we will not be taking any long opportunity right now, but it has started being in an uptrend. So we may keep an eye on this to look for potential go with flow or other long opportunities in this stock. You may also look at some of its peer companies. Let's look at what was the next company. Let's start with HPQ. HPQ is a very high level however it displayed a bearish headwind on two days separated by only few bars in between it also gave a false upside breakout on this day when the second bearish headwind came an alert trader could have shorted using intraday chart on that day at the right edge of the chart price came down made lower low and then came slightly back up if it tilts down from here it may give us a go with flow short opportunity catching the very top of hpq and it will also be a very low risk entry stop being just above this candle if price falls from monday let's look at the two gambling companies 
starting with LVS. In LVS, after earnings, price gap down, but closed higher. And then soon after that, there was a bearish traffic light candle, which also came very close to the watermark resistance line. Since then, price is going down with lower high and lower low. At the right edge of the chart, it is staying just above the support memory. So we will not be taking any trade right now. We will look for price to go down and give us a proper go with flow swing trade setup. Or alternatively, price may come up to the memory resistance line, one of them till down from there, giving us either a go with flow shot or maybe a bounce shot opportunity. But right now we will be careful to short looking at the memory support lines, both in daily and weekly. Here also we see that since the bearish headwind in weekly chart, price could never come back to that area. That gives rise to another proposal that when there are bearish headwinds in a stock, either in weekly or daily chart, we could trade it using stocks to take a short position, or we could also play with short call verticals, which is bearish and where time decay will be in our favor if the stock either goes down or even if it moves sideways, the short call verticals will make money when we have such bearish headwind signal. Similar trades could be found at the lower end with bullish headwind signal as well. That was MGM LVS. Let's look at Meli and Netflix. Very interesting stocks, by the way. Meli is an e-commerce company which caters to South America. It has been a very strong company, technically as well as fundamentally. Now, I noticed that on this day, one, two, three, four days ago, JP Morgan upgraded the stock price, raising its target from 290 to 300. And on that day, and also previous day, price almost or actually reached $300. But in my view, that was a bit too late to give a bullish upgrade on a stock. As we can see in the weekly chart, it has gone up from about 100, from below 100 to 300. So in superior profit way, we would like to catch the bottom for long-term investment. We might try to catch the middle also, but we are not in front of catching the top of a stock. When this apparent upgrade in price happened, the very next day price actually dropped. And one day after that, it had a huge gap down, but price recovered, still closing below previous day's candle. And on Friday, it tried to go up, open slightly higher, but came down with a bearish shape candle and bearish traffic light. Because the stock has gone up a lot, if it drops, it will give huge profit potential. So this could be treated with smaller capital, taking low risk using a put option if put options are liquid enough with narrow bid ask spread. Also on Monday, if it starts going down, then it may give us a go with flow short opportunity. Though the weekly may not change color to magenta, using the technical insight on the daily chart and the fact that it is going up for a very long time, one might short the trade. However, fundamentally, this seems to be a quite strong stock. And let me look at that. Let me open the tool for that. Give me one minute. For fundamental analysis also, we simply look at color coding and very quickly decide whether the stock is strong or weak to help decide in our trading. So all we need to do is just type the symbol
and it will go to Metastock Zenith, that is Thomson Reuters icon, get the data and evaluate the company and the number of its peers, maximum 50, but currently set at 25. Compare it across multiple parameters, dividend yield, expensiveness of the company in terms of EV, EBITDA, PE, and price book ratio, whether short interest is high or low, which may help at a short interest may help if a stock is at very low price and short interest is high, then if we have a long opportunity, it may shoot up because shorting people will need to cover as the stock starts to go up. Then we look at the long-term strength of the company in terms of EPS and revenue over last five and three year period. Medium term health of the company, operating margin ROE, ROA, ROE and ROA also shows management efficiency and the solvency of the company in terms of very short term solvency, quick ratio and overall debt solvency in terms of current and debt to equity. Also, we like to take trades in stronger companies, long position in stronger companies, which is indicated by high alpha. So we like to trade in high beta stocks, which move faster than broader market. Now, if we look at all these parameters, all we need to do for a particular stock, mainly in this case, is whether there are many green signals or not. Now we see that the price was going up very strongly in the daily chart, which meant that the price is not inexpensive anymore. It is already high. In terms of PE, it is quite high. In terms of PBR, very high. In terms of EV EBITDA, it is in the middle. And the price was high for a reason because most of the parameters are green. So this is fundamentally a strong company. Still, looking at the technical chart, especially for short term trading, our swing trades on average closing within five days, mainly could probably provide a good short opportunity either on Friday close itself. Somebody might have taken a trade at that time or Monday, if it starts going down, giving a proper go it for short trade setup. Let's look at Netflix. This company is also very strong technically. It has gone up a lot in the weekly chart. In the daily chart, it displayed a bearish headwind. Then it closed below the watermark resistance level, creating a false upside breakout. A very alert trader could have caught the top, but it is not easy to catch such tops because the watermark levels were not deep like for example in this case at this bottom when price came down here and went back up catching that false downside breakout is much easier because the sideways move is clearer in superior profit way it will be very difficult to catch this top because these watermark levels are going up in stairways fashion they are not deep enough at the top so probably we will not be able to catch that but looking at the bearish headwind signal will be alert and looking at this bearish candle shape along with pair release, one might initiate a very low risk short entry opportunity. But if we miss that, there is no problem at all because at the right edge of the chart, after making a lower low, it came to value area and if it tilts down from here, it will give us a go with flow short trade opportunity in a stock which has gone up a lot from around $80 to $160. And now let us look at its fundamental and see is it as strong relative to its peers as was Melly. All we do is again enter the name of the symbol and now we can see clearly it is not as strong as Melly. Melee had many more green colors across all the fundamental parameters and in terms of PE ratio, it is actually the worst among all its 25 peers. 
so looking at the fundamentals if we had to choose only one to short between netflix and melee of course we will choose netflix this is how we use the visual fundamental analysis along with technical charts and broad market sector industry analysis to take trades which has much higher success probability than using technical charts alone cool isn't it so we covered all the stocks that we were talking about in our industry and sector analysis now i mentioned that the oil commodity has gone up some of the integrated oil companies has gone up however oil services companies are still languishing we are superior profit traders so we start looking at them when they are at the bottom and try to profit from the move up at or near the very bottom so let us look at the industry ranking for oil related companies i already made a snapshot of those companies and we can see from there that oil equipment services distribution is still magenta but it is slightly improving over recent review periods improving from 145 to 142 and okay remaining at 143 in the current week but knowing that oil has gone up and we can clearly see integrated oil and gas oil and gas producers oil and gas exploration production all improved we may anticipate a move up of oil equipment services distribution oil equipment services and look for potential opportunities so let us look at two such companies unt and pes in the weekly chart we see that the bearish headwind could catch the very top which also gave rise to a false upside breakout we could have an extremely profitable short trade again using the false breakout with bearish headwind in weekly chart at the right edge in the daily chart we see that after earnings price came down sharply however we also see earnings was actually better than previous quarter that we can know from the green color then there was a bull release signal however we don't use a bull release signal in itself these are very fast signals the candle color was still red there was a false downside breakout once price could go down and then go back up above this watermark support level i noticed that on friday it ended with a very bullish shape and bullish color candle going up by almost 8% so we may keep an eye on unt to see if it goes up from there of course there is a memory resistance line so there is no proper q trade setup right now we may keep in view this stock to see what happens let's look also at pes in the same industry in the weekly chart it looks similar to unt it declined a lot now it has come to a very deep watermark support level it had earnings which was better than previous quarter and it has stabilized there the weekly backdrop candles are indecisive with lower and higher higher tail with both lower and higher tail in the daily chart we have a declining memory resistance line and support from watermark at the bottom if price breaks above the memory resistance it may give us a very low risk long trade opportunity in pes which is in an industry group which has declined very heavily in past months that was about oil services companies what about metal and mining we noticed that metals and minings were also weak for long time they were at the bottom of our ranking table 
but in recent weeks we see that mining has started improving changing color from magenta to cyan same is true for gold mining basic materials aluminium and general mining some others are magenta but still improving in their rank so we may look for potential long opportunities in stocks in these companies again looking for bottom catching swing as well as long term investment opportunities this is how we are different from other traders we don't look for catching the top of companies like netflix mainly or even apple google for that matter we look for strong we look for strong companies that has declined a lot probably along with its industries decline and then as the industry starts to move up from bottom we try to catch the bottom of stocks in those industries that was our broad market sector and industry analysis we will now look at the ranking table from our website we have already seen ranking analysis for metal mining and oil services we'll see if there are additional insights that we can get for trades in coming weeks one we can see and this i mentioned in earlier classes that telecom as a sector was very weak for many months so when that happens just like i did for metal mining oil services i start to keep an eye on stocks in that sector or industry group so i have been looking at several large telecom companies and they are fundamentally strong also so let's look at the fundamental of say verizon we can immediately see that it's not very expensive and some of the fundamentals may be weak but overall it has many green colors relative to prs thereby showing instantly that it is a strong company in the telecom sector so this industry group was languishing is showing some strength now and verizon itself is a strong company in that industry group so this may be an opportunity to catch the bottom of the industry as well as the stock however let us look at another company in this industry group that is at&t here again we see that the stock is quite strong fundamentally especially it is low price now relative to peers pe is green very low relative to peers and the fundamentals are also reasonably good not many red colors across all the parameters in this way we don't actually have to read all the numbers just by looking at color coding we can see both verizon and at&t actually the top two companies here are relatively strong so next step is to look at their q charts even if a stock is fundamentally strong we are not going to buy it unless the stock is actually going up because we don't make money by looking at stocks fundamentals we can only make money if the stock is going up so let us look at verizon and t at and you will instantly see from the technical charts which one has a better long opportunity let's look at verizon in the weekly chart it declined a lot at the right edge it has a watermark support level it went below that it ended the week with a bullish shape candle but not closing above the watermark support yet if it does that it will give a false downside breakout along with exhaustion in terms of high activity in the weekly chart in the daily chart it is still in sharp downtrend there is a bullish headwind signal however there is no proper trade setup yet we may look for it to go up and give us a proper go with flow long trade opportunity but what about at&t 
here we have a very good and clear trade opportunity price was moving up and down down and up and down again we can see it is stronger technically than Verizon Verizon declined much more AT&T didn't decline so much at the right edge it came right at the memory support line ended the week with a bullish shape candle with large lower tail and also closed above the memory support line in the daily chart it also has a bullish headwind it closed above watermark support level thereby completing a false downside breakout along with bullish headwind signal on thursday which coincided in the weekly chart price going up above the memory support line we could already be in the trade on thursday and for an alert trader one would take the long trade using fine tune chart when price was going above the watermark level and that would have been already a very profitable day trade or precise entry of swing trade if we didn't take that trade then at the right edge price is resting just below the memory resistance so we will not initiate any long trade right now on monday we could wait for price to break the memory resistance come down and then go up giving us a proper go with flow long opportunity the sideways box trade or the headwind long opportunity has already passed when a stock is at the very bottom or top the initial trade opportunities will be either headwind trade when the market is trending or box trade when the market is in sideways move or a combination as in this case and go with flow trade opportunity will come after that it is all right if we miss the initial box or headwind trade opportunity if the trend continues we will have the go with flow trade opportunity sooner or later of course psychologically it is more satisfying to catch the bottom but in terms of profit it really doesn't matter let us go back to our ranking table so we could identify at t as a very low risk entry opportunity while looking at the sector ranking technology we can see has started declining it was strong for many many months that is what also gave me the thought of looking for short opportunities in highly priced companies like meli and netflix and you may find similar other highly priced companies especially those which are fundamentally not as strong like netflix let's look at industry ranking earlier we discussed electronic office equipment during our industry analysis and we saw it was week earlier became very strong and then dipped again these are the cases which we discussed could give rise to buy the dip opportunity in a stock like pebi kidney boost which started to go up and then dipped that is normal that stocks will dip after a strong move up so it may give us a buy the dip or a swing long trade opportunity we see that toys which was very strong for many months has declined significantly so let's look at the company i haven't looked at that chart yet maybe metal let's look at metal it's a large toy company okay metal has already declined a lot right now it is actually at support in weekly chart it has displayed a bullish headwind and staying above the memory support in daily it declined heavily on earnings that was poorer than last quarter then stabilized but the industry as a whole declined so we are not going to look for a long trade in metal in superior profit way 
you may look for other toy companies and see if there is a short opportunity in such stocks we already looked at mining we already looked at oil services companies we can see several of the oil equipment services companies are starting to improve so that's why we looked at companies like UNT and PES same for metal mining companies let's look at US steel for example in the iron steel industry which was ranking very poorly for many months but it improved significantly X US steel is still very much in downtrend after earnings it had a huge gap down and since then it is still going down further so we don't have any long opportunity at the right edge unless price comes to this level in weekly chart and bounces up from there there is no long opportunity right now but i identified another company i wrote it down somewhere give me a minute it's a platinum company i think it is plg it's more interesting than us still it has declined a lot in weekly it came to the watermark support level in weekly displayed a bull release and then for two weeks it is going up this platinum company declined a lot however at the right edge it is right at support at the watermark support level in weekly chart it displayed a bull release signal and since then for two weeks it went up both the candles had lower tail that is bullish shape in the daily chart after earnings which was worse than previous quarter it declined like us steel but unlike us steel it displayed a bullish headwind already and since then price is starting to go up so we have a kind of false downside breakout we have a bullish headwind we clearly have exhaustion now price is being supported by memory support line so if next week price goes above the watermark resistance level one might take a breakout trade try to book partial profit at the declining yellow direction line which is also the upper boundary and hold the remaining position for longer term in superior profit way we don't like to take breakouts except for situations like this where the breakout still gives us very low risk trade opportunity the stock could be just below the memory support line or for longer term investing it could be below the watermark support line i will look at two more stocks today let's look at moh enamul gave this stock it is at very very high level it shoot up after earnings this was earnings so earnings might have been announced on this day it shoot up heavily from about 50 to 70 that is almost 40 50 percent jump in two days because of earnings so we are certainly not going to take any long trade in this company not in superior profit way not at this point instead we might have taken the long long time ago using this bullish headwind signal the bullish headwinds and all the other signals are extremely powerful in q charts bullish headwinds are different from traffic light etc because they try to catch the very top or bottom memory resistance support lines also try to catch the very top and bottom so we are always keeping an eye for them they can give extremely profitable trades so when these bullish headwinds came it was probably also creating a false downside breakout in weekly chart i can see the time frame was near end of march in both weekly and daily chart so at this point we would have already taken a long position we are not going to take long position at the right edge if it gives us a false upside breakout we may take a trade in the short direction but let's also look at the fundamental of the stock moh okay it is not 
still very expensive. The EV EBITDA and PE, none of them are red. So it is still priced reasonably well. However, the fundamentals are not that good. There are many more red colors now we see here than for example, we saw in at and where we were looking for a potential swing or long-term investment. So as the fundamentals are not strong, that gives us additional age to try to short it, provided Q chart gives us a good signal. So if there is a box short trade setup, price bouncing down from this watermark resistance level, then we might look for a short opportunity with very low risk. But we also need to look at the industry group. If industry group is strong, then we are not going to take any short trade. Doing that, we may miss some trade opportunities, but that is fine. The ones that we take, and there are plenty, plenty to take, as we can see from today's session also. So let's look at the healthcare industry. Okay, healthcare as a sector actually deteriorated. One month period, it was ranking two. Now it declined. MOH is in a weak sector in the recent period. So we can look for swing short opportunity. You may also look at the company's industry group and see if that is aligned with a short trade direction. One last talk I wanted to discuss that is in telecom sector as well. Let's look at FTR. FTR has declined a lot. It is still in sharp downtrend, even in weekly. However, we see for previous two quarters, earnings didn't go down, but the stock is continuing to go down, which may happen because the industry itself is going down. Now at the right edge of the chart, price is at the bottom in downtrend, but I noticed on Friday, it went up strongly with 15% gain. And they announced a change in management. If you drill down the stock news, then you can see they announced a change in management. Somebody from an established telecom company joined their company in a high position. Sometimes changes in executive position can bring new optimism in a company. And if we are aware of those news and the Q chart is supportive, we may take a very low risk, long opportunity and profit a lot from that. So to me, it was declining. It went up slightly, tried to go down and then went up heavily with 15% move up. I thought it may be a very low risk entry opportunity at the very bottom. However, there is no standard trade setup yet in FTR. So we may keep an eye on this as well. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for joining and I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.